As you can see, there is still a lot happening right now with many questions about what's next for Georgia. CBS 46's Megan Packer continues our team coverage with more on what could be in store. With so many eyes on Georgia, many voters are likely wondering where we go from here. I spoke with a political science expert to talk about the possibility of recounts and runoffs. I mean, it's very exciting to be in Georgia and to sort of see how these changes are taking place. Dr. Amy Steigerwalt is a Georgia State University political science professor watching with the rest of us to see what ends up happening in the peach state. I don't like the purple state number. I like instead to talk about it that we are like a twist ice cream cone. You've got the red and the blue and it's all twisted up because those colors are still really, really strong. The state must certify ballots by November 20th. After that, if a margin between two candidates is less than half of 1%, a recount could be requested and if so, must be granted. What's important about Georgia is we do not have automatic recounts. They have to be requested either by one of those who was one of those people, one of the people that was running or they can be requested by either a county election official or by the Secretary of State's office if they have concerns. So it's highly likely we will see a request for that we will that we will hit that margin when it comes to the presidential race. Steigerwalt says lawsuits are also a possibility moving forward, but we haven't seen anything coming out really yet that would point to kind of a large scale type of litigation that would really affect the count in the state. And when it comes to runoffs, Steigerwalt reminds us state and local runoffs would be held in December, a month before any federal runoffs like for U.S. Senate. In Atlanta, Megan Packer, CBS 46 News.